Hi, I'm Alison Mowbray and today I'm going to show you another stay active exercise. So today we're going to go rowing. Now you might have noticed a distinct lack of water or boats and you might not have any boats in your house but we're not going to let that stop us. Rowing is a leg, mainly a leg based activity and we can use the resistance of our weight to, instead of the water and we can go rowing standing up and get, still get a lot of the same benefits. It's a very versatile act, um, activity this, very versatile exercise, you can use it in lots of ways. So the first thing we do is rowing is mainly legs as I said, so we're going to get the legs moving. So feet about shoulder width apart and you're going to drop your bum down over your heels, pull your stomach muscles in, drop your bum down over your heels into a squat position and then push up. So try and keep your feet flattish on the floor. So it's control down and push up, control, push up. So the temptation is to drop down and squeeze up, but you want to control down and push up and use the big glute muscles and your big leg muscles. And what you want to try and keep doing is keep your knees in line with your feet. So there'll be a temptation for your legs to fall outwards or inwards. But if you keep them in line, and squeeze your knees in slightly, that really activates your glutes and that will stop your, if you have lower back pain, that'll help stop your lower back pain as well. So that's the leg moving. Rowing is an all over body activity and we need to use our arms. So we're gonna coordinate the arms. As you go down, your arms come out and as you push up, they come in. So down and up, down and up. And that's, that's it, that's the full activity. And now that we're completely we're moving everything, heart rate's going up, breathing rate's going up, even with just a few. So again, if you've been sat on the sofa, you can just do a few of these to get everything moving again. We can also use this activity in several ways. So first of all, if you're not very fit, you're not very flexible, you haven't done anything like this before, you can build up. I would start just on five. You don't have to go down very far. You don't have to do them very quickly. Just do five today, six tomorrow, seven the next day. Just build it up gradually. If you miss a day, don't worry, just start where you left off. If you are more fit and more flexible and you're used to doing this, then start on 10 or 20 and build up in fives maybe. Or do 30 seconds and then a minute and then a minute and a half. So just do, fit it in however you like to use it. I tend to do 20 or 30 at the start of a seven minute circuit is a really good warm up to get everything moving. So at the moment, we're going single sculling. We're just doing this by ourselves. But rowing is a team activity. So if you have some isolation buddies, you can form a team. If you're isolating by yourself, then maybe you could have a little rowing Zoom party. The idea is that you designate someone as a stroke and they set the rhythm and everyone else has to follow as exactly as they can, the same as in a rowing boat. So if you speed up, everyone has to go faster at the same speed as you. And if you slow down, they have to slow down with you. So this is a great activity to do with kids. When I work with children, I have the whole room and I'm stroking and we do a, we do a race and then they break into teams and they try and coordinate in a team. So if you have your own team in the house, you can form a team and have a go. Um, my only isolation buddy is videoing, as usual, so um, I've had to find another team. We have here sheep and duck, they're very keen, they've been waiting, they're very keen to have a go at this. Um, but I do need a third one to form a full team. Less keen is Cherry, she really didn't want to have a go at this, but I'm afraid she's going to have to. So we'll put Cherry in there. At three, okay, and then the idea you all face the same way as in a rowing boat and your stroke person stands at the front and sets the rhythm. So same thing, just do your rowing stroke and everyone else has to follow. And you can speed up and they have to follow you and you can slow down. So the idea is you're not trying to trick anybody, you're just trying to set a really good rhythm and maybe after about 10, someone shouts change and you run around the back. And now you've got a new stroke person and the new stroke person sets the rhythm and off you go, off you go, Cherry. Off you go. She really doesn't want to do this. I think the fact that she doesn't really have any legs doesn't help. Anyway, you could do it in a line and just kind of rotate round like in a boat. Or if you feel that's a bit unsociable, you can form a circle and all get round in a group. And again, switch the stroke person, switch, switch who's leading, and you can set off 
and again slower faster you can do a race and maybe after you've practiced a bit and you've got really good you could find an olympic final and you can have it on your laptop or tablet and you can see how long you can keep up for maybe 500 meters a thousand meters or can you keep growing the whole way through an olympic final thank you very much <laughs>